Hey folks, Quill18 here, and welcome to a video for character creation in Mass Effect Andromeda. I was asked to do a video for Mass Effect, I'm like, but I don't want to spoil anyone, anyone, anything. And they're like, well, you could just do character creation. I'm so there. Because as everyone knows, character creation is the single most important part of every game. And you've got to spend, like, if a game's going to take, I don't know, like, let's say a game is, is 50 hours, then you have to put in at least that long into character creation by itself. It's just, you know, one of the ways it goes. Let's go ahead and hit new game over here. And of course, we're going for a customized character. So um, th so this is for those of you who haven't seen the character customization and want to know what kind of the options are there. Um, I haven't played a ton of the game because I just got back from a trip. Like the game was released the day I left the country. So I've just, just, just gotten back and I'm playing through the intro. And uh, I gotta say the new combat really, 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 really enjoyable. It's quite pretty too. Um, but uh, there we go. All right, so we're gonna start by doing a male writer over here. Writer, R-Y-D-E-R -E is the, uh, the last name of our character in this case. So we've got this fellow over here. I've got all the options set to the default ultra at this time. So we've got, uh, I guess we've got film grain effects and different things like that. I gotta say this, uh, this armor, pretty cool. All right. Um, so yeah, we can choose gender, but we're gonna leave that in there. Customize appearance. So we've got the default appearance over here. This is the de facto male writer that I know probably on box covers and things. And then we've got a series of preset heads that we can choose from. You know, if you want to find, wow. I mean, I, would you call this mutton chops? Are these like sideburns 2.0 or something? I'm, I'm not sure. Also, this this color blonde doesn't look natural. This looks like someone who super bleaches his hair. He's got a, he's got a definite look that he's aiming for. Um, I don't know what that look is, but it is there. What else do we got here? Um, actually, he looks like one of the things I do when every time when I play Mass Effect is my characters always have functional hairstyles as much as possible. Um, and I realize there's you know some length over here, but this looks like someone who wanted a functional sort of hairstyle that wouldn't get in his way when he's going around doing, you know, military-ish things. But he wants the ability style just a little bit. We're going to talk about hair a lot when we're working on the female writer. Oh, this guy's been around. Look at this. I mean, is this salt and pepper at this point? Or is this just some sort of, like, slate gray hair? Kind of like that. It's got a lot of personality. This guy's been around for a little while. So these are all the default heads. So we're going to choose one as a base. Should I make someone who, like, looks like me or someone who looks completely different from myself? I, I don't know. Um, let's say... Let's start with... Hmm. Hmm. But not... I, I don't think... I don't think you... Let's... Let's start with this guy. Um, because if I hit custom over here... Yeah. Doesn't do anything. But that's because we can cycle through. Now that we've chosen a preset, now it's about doing some tweaks over here. Uh, so skin tone, we've got a slider that we can work with. Oh, it's interesting. Like, I appreciate the fact that it's, you know, a um, like a floating point number, a decimal number, but it's like, why doesn't it go zero to one? I wanna know, like one, what, what's the skin tone of one? Is it green, blue? I wanna make John Jones over here. All uh, right. So, I don't know, should, should we try to make someone who looks kind of like myself? So I guess I'd, I'd probably call it around here. This is like, um, I spend a lot of time in front of the monitor degree of tan. That, that's about it. I'm, I'm soaking in the radiation from my monitor, and that'll be a good start. I feel like if I'm going to do me, I should start with what and set up a couple of things. Should I just uh, set up the eyes first? Um, height, depth, we want eye color. Oh, I like I like this ring. At first I was like, what? how does this work? But it's kind of cool. You're choosing, I'm trying to think like, you know, the sort of hue saturation. I guess that's what we're doing. We're, we can cycle through the hue on the outside and then we sort of have a saturation meter over here. I mean, you can make really bizarre and different looking people. Like you're making humans, but this is the future. Humanity could have changed. Plus, I mean, we have cosmetic, um, we have cosmetic uh, contact lenses as is. So there's no reason they couldn't have that in the future. And who knows, maybe they have like cosmetic eye implants. Maybe we have cyber eyes. I kind of like that. But if we're making me, so I have bluish eyes, but one of the things that happens with age is your eyes, a lot of the blue sort of starts to, to fade a little bit more as you get a bit older. So I'm gonna desaturate it. Um, somewhere maybe more like that. 
Actually, it's pretty realistic blue eyes there, as opposed to right at the top of the pyramid, which you've got like crazy blue. But if we go down here, maybe even a little lower, so almost a little gray with a hint of blue, that tends to happen. So the blue goes away. The other thing that happens with age, which I don't think is in... Oh my god, outer color, inner color. Oh, okay. I don't think I even realized that when I made my actual character. What? Um, the other thing I was going to say is, so let's set an inner color and, and maybe set that one a little bit more blue, is when you are younger, there's more of this like black rim on the outside of your eye. Huh. So, I'm trying to decide how to do it. Wow, wow, I really like the color of these eyes. I mean, they don't look like me anymore. Um, there we go. Maybe something like that. And then let's um, lighten up that outer rim just a scooch. There we go. I mean, that might be too pale for myself, but it's not bad. It's not bad at all. All right, what else we got? So, uh, right, that was the head presets. Right, we're on custom now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, skin tone. Brow. Brow height. Oh, he's like, he's, he's a little suspicious. He's like, really? Uh, maybe. Really? Maybe. I got that, and then the depth. I don't think we'll really get a good sense of the depth unless we turn sideways here. So, I, you know what? If I'm making anyone that's supposed to re like even remotely look like me, I, I feel like I need a mirror. I think, I think I've got a pretty flat forehead. I'm actually feeling it right now. Can you hear me, like, rubbing my forehead just maybe? That's, that's that. And then, I don't know, maybe a little further out. And then, I don't know. I often, like, have my brows up when I'm emoting, but then, then get to see all my wrinkles normally. This guy's going to be a lot younger than me, and I approve of that. Okay, I'm going to go back to the skin tone. I think he's got too much of a monitor tan. There we go. Just like that. Pasty geek level. All right. Cheek height. I, I don't know. Uh, so there's height, cheek width, and cheekbone width. So which part is the... The cheekbone's up there, right, and then the cheek width, it, would that be lower down? All right, there we go. This is, this is the... I, I, all I do is play computers, computer games all day, and I um, don't get enough exercise. There we go. All right, we're closing in there. Now, um, I think I, I kind of feel like I want to change the eyebrows at this point. Uh, and maybe facial hair. So, so this is hairstyle, facial hair type. All right, what you got for me? Okay, so. No. Woo. I mean, that's not me. But I like it. Uh, that... No, what? No, what? Could you imagine trying to maintain this stuff? And you're like, every day you're trying to cut it to be just right. And you get it just a little off. So every day it gets a little further away and more lopsided. I don't know. Maybe use one of the AIs to do it automatically. Maybe you lasered off the hair follicles in those areas. Now that would work pretty well. Okay, I mean, I do have a full beard. Well, I mean, I have a short full beard. So that's probably the best option right over here but we need to change the color now if we change does it change universally because i have ah oh, that's a little bit better because i have dark brown hair i wonder can you change the um no some of the meters let you change the opacity especially a lot of the makeup things and it would have been nice i think maybe to thin out the beard just a little bit but it's not too bad now we actually got really lucky on the hairstyle because that's okay five we're gonna have to remember hairstyle five because that's not way off of me that is definitely not me. I see people do this all the time, and I don't understand, like, how much work is it to pull off this kind of hairstyle? How much hair product? Do you have to, like, hold it in place with a, like, a round brush and dry your hair in that position? That is way, way too much work. Okay, but this is the I don't give crap, and I just got out of bed, and it seems fine and effortless. We got some more things that need product. Um, I did have something kind of, oh, hair physics. Really? Ah, that's cool. I don't really see that because again, I go for like these functional hairstyles for my uh, for my characters all across the entire um, Mass Effect universe. So like I tend to play, I played through the uh, the original trilogy as the female Shepard, and but she oh, that's awesome. Um, the first time through, she was like short short cut hair, like buzz cut. Um, and after that, I did go with like a tight bun or updo or something because again, it's like you know. You don't want to get your hair caught in your helmet. You don't want to fall down in front of your face in the middle of a firefight. We got to be practical here. Well, that is very like neat and tidy and organized. It's like this person here worked at like NASA in the 1950s or something like that. You know what I mean? 
Um, oh man, that looks great actually. Good texture and chunking there. It looks, especially from the front, like it really looks like like round like micro dreads. Now here again, turbo turbo functional, really functional. But we're gonna go and make myself. So probably something like that. Because the thing is, this my hair is a little more curly than this. But what I do like to do, like my entire hair thing, is when I get out of the shower, I towel towel dry it as much as possible, and then I brush it straight back. And then as it dries, I sort of like run my fingers through my hair and just, just break up the chunkiness a little bit. But it's basically this. It's sort of like, I mean, for a guy, longer-ish hair, but not, you know, long hair anymore. And then all sort of brushed back. And uh, yeah, that works. All right, all right, all right. Um, that's hairstyle. So, okay, we're back at the eyes. That's just inner and outer color. We've got that. I still think they're probably a little bit bluer than... There we go. Maybe more like that. So makeup customization, eyeliner. I mean, I don't think we're going to do that again. It seems to me that if you're out in the field in the military, I don't care what your gender is, putting on makeup does not seem like a particularly um, good use of your time. And, you know, what if it runs into your eye? I mean, I don't know. When I was in, when I was in high school, I wore eyeliner for a while. But um, and I didn't mind putting it on so much. I hated taking it off. That was just brutal, and that's ultimately, I think, what made me stop, you know, after a couple of weeks. But that was it. That was, oh, the teenage years. Um, let's see. So I don't think we're going to do that. Although I will say, again, if you're talking about sort of a more futuristic kind of thing, there's the entire idea that you can, you know, I mean, people have, uh, in today's world, tattoo on makeup, which seems like a little too much of a commitment because, I mean, styles change. Heck, they change from season to season. I would know, my wife was actually trained as a makeup artist and I helped her study for her exams. So I know a shocking amount about makeup. Um, and definitely tattooing it on seems a little not like the, I don't know. I don't know, I don't like permanency. But in the future, maybe there's like removable dyes, maybe you can change it in little nano bot implants or something like that that can tweak the shade. So there's something to be said about it. I mean, we could look into something. Let's go, let's try out some eyeliner on this guy and see how we feel about it. Oh, it's red. I'm like, I couldn't see it at first. It's red. You know what? It matches the armor, doesn't it? It's maybe a little bit more orange. Can we make it a bit more of a true red, a bit of a cooler red over here? It's getting a bit more purple. I know, that's not bad. You know, the stripe down here and then that? I mean, I don't think that's what we're going to go for, but let's let's see a few more. Oh, it's like sad clown. Oh, a little bit, a little bit on the outside. Now, we could, and the thing is, the, the sort of dudes with like that coal outline actually can look pretty awesome it's got a very sort of classic look right throw back to the i don't know the old egyptian and persian empires and all those uh, it's kind of cool but I, I don't think you know especially if we're going to model this guy a little bit more after me i don't think that uh, that quite makes sense so i think we'll leave that out we'll play it a little bit more with this when we're looking at the um at the female rider i would say uh should i have blush i do have i, I actually do have um, perpetually pink cheeks here. So it might make sense. I'm going to just... Oh! Okay, I kind of like these pattern blushes. But if we gave him some, and then drop down the opacity like a bit... I don't want it to look like a blush exactly. I sort of just want to make it look like he's got perpetually rosy cheeks. I don't think with the beard it quite works here. I think without the beard it might work. So I think I'm just going to go and remove that completely, and that'll be okay. But then we get to look at the cool scars. Now, I don't have any scars in real life. Um, I have one on my arm from when a cat scratched me, but that's about it. But I gotta say, the uh, the scars in here... Oh, I didn't even realize there were tattoos, too. I don't remember that. The scars in here look incredibly realistic um, to me. I don't know where that one went. Where's that scar? I don't know. Might be, it might be under the beard. There we go. So we've got a scar there. And, like, it can look like a really fresh wound that really never healed. Like, it's almost like a scab more than anything else. But you can see, like, how this could be, like, a deep cut or especially a burn. And the skin, like, the outer layers of skin never really, really came back. That's probably an area of the face that's kind of numb and, um, and tight and just never will properly heal the way you might want over there. So we've got a few of these. Oh, I love this idea, too. That, the first time I saw it, was brilliant. So it's like you got your face just 
pressed really hard, mashed into a mesh, right? And I mean, you could you could turn it down again, you know, in all kinds of different ways. Um, this just really emphasizes it so much. But the idea that you could have hit it so hard that the mesh cut into you a bunch of places. It also sort of looks like what if it was like a hot mesh? Um, you know, like chicken wire or something like that. That was for some reason was heated. It's part of the uh, engine cowling or like just just the um, um, the cooling. I don't know, like the cooling barrel around an exhaust or a gun, like a big gun, where it's perforated like this to help dissipate, like a heat sink, that sort of thing. I don't know. I, 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 I thought that was very cool when I saw that. We can look at a few others. Oh, and then same thing, like just mash it. And it looks so painful at the high level of intensity here. I like the, I've never seen that before in a game. This, ow, oh, that, oh, the nose damage. That, like across the cheek, I'm like, okay, whatever. But when you're talking about you, your nostril probably got caught as something raked across your face. I suppose if it was coming from up to down, it wouldn't be so bad, but the other way around, oh, 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 and how did that not hit your eye? Maybe we have, maybe we have an artificial eye. I mean, that's the only thing that makes sense, right? There's no way that didn't actually hit our eye, unless it just barely grazed and it's actually on, you know, our eyelids or something. I'm not sure. I like this scar. This, this looks very realistic. Again, like with the one, it looks very fresh. But, you know, even down here, like, this, I don't know what caused it. It doesn't look like the stereotypical, like, four claws slash. This looks like debris pattern, like shrapnel explosion, where a few pieces of shrapnel and metal just sort of braze the uh, the face from an explosion. And it sort of looks realistic and convincing. Did I actually skip one? Oh, no, I didn't. Okay. So, 11. Same thing here on the other side. Same sort of idea. Like, I like that kind of random. And then you've got these. Now, these, oops, again, look to me like maybe more burn patterns than anything else. I, I don't know what that is, but it's quite rough down on the chin. This one here, mm, I like that a lot. I don't know what would have caused that. It looks like an abrasion, like maybe you were you, sort of a crash landing on, in a shuttle, and as you fell, you scraped your face across the floor. Like, it looks like that. It looks like um, a scratching pattern that happened while you were tumbling. And again, with like, when the scar intensity gets to the top and it adds that little hint of purple, oh, it looks so bad. Like, that's deep, deep, deep tissue problems. All right. Well, I don't think, I don't think with this character, I don't think we're going to put in a scar. Because again, it's sort of vaguely based on me, although clearly much, much more attractive. Maybe we'll give him a tattoo, though. Maybe this alternate universe version of me has a tattoo. I'm going to do that because my female writer does not have a tattoo. Um, and I'm going to be trying to replicate her a little bit. Uh, ooh. Okay, we've got the color that we can change again. I kind of, like, the, like, black ink is very cool. And I like this sort of pattern. It looks like... You know what it looks like? It looks like a sci-fi version of, like, a QR code. You know? Like, it feels like someone could scan this with some sort of device. And it links to, like, a website. It's their, like... This links to my Facebook page or something like that. Okay, other eye. Down like that. I like the... Sim it's, it's not... It's not symmetrical. Like, it goes down the midline of the face, but it's not actually symmetrical. But yeah, lots of... What tattoo is this? Is it like... Oh, 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 there it is. Oh. Oh, that's actually really lovely. Look better without the, um... Without the beard. Like, I think if you had a tattoo like that, you wouldn't have the beard. You'd probably even take a hairstyle that wouldn't sort of cover it up over there. So it's... Oops, I switched to scars. My bad. My bad. It's because I keep using the mouse wheel to try to scroll the view, and it doesn't do that. It switches the menu. Okay, where is this tattoo? Is it the same thing on the other side? Yep, okay. And a bit of a hairline over here. This is like, <laughs> as a guy who's getting a little older, again, if this were a little higher up, I'd be like, this is where my hairline was in, you know, 2005. And this is where my hairline was in 2007. And this and this and this. I mean, obviously this starts too low for that. This kind of looks like, I wish I was a princess and wore a tiara. Okay, we got another uh, binary one on the neck. Oh, and... Oh, a different one by here. It's actually got quite a nice pattern in there. I like those sort of shaded effects in, in tattoos. I realize that would take a ton of time to implement, but they look great. We've got another, a great mesh there. Like, I like those little delicate ones like that. That's probably the same thing on the other side. Yeah. We need one that's beard compatible. Oh, that is cool. That's, I mean, it's not Tetris. I don't know what that would be, but it looks awesome. Same thing on the other side. Yep. Yeah. And then, what? Okay, that, that is not really me. I think... You know what? I kind of dig this. Uh, no, wait. The one that doesn't have the ear part of it. Isn't there one that's just on the neck?
Hmm. Yeah, I guess not. What I kind of want is like number seven, but without necessarily this part here. That just comes down over there. But I don't think we're going to have that, so... Again, I don't have a tattoo, so I'll probably just hold off here. But there's a good number of options. All right, so that's that would be that would be sort of me if I was considerably more handsome. Now, can I? I think I have to go back at this point. Um, yes, there we go. Choose gender. Let's take a look at the female writers. Uh, custom appearance, and so again, there's a few predefined heads that we could start from as a guide. Wow, the purple eyeshadow is that. Now that's cool. And, like, that, that functional haircut. Except for the fact that, man, that would take a lot of work to do, wouldn't it? It must. It must just take a ton of effort to get your hair like that. Whereas this, like, again, well, okay, you've gotten a ponytail, that's good. But it's sort of a loose ponytail. And how do you do that? How do you use your own hair to tie up a ponytail? I used to have long hair. I could never figure that out. But, see, I'd be worried about the, my hair falling in my eyes while I was fighting. So that would be no good. Now, this, totally functional. Seems to be pretty low maintenance. You know, a little brushing to, to part it, and that would be it. See, I appreciate that kind of stuff. Um, nope, 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 nope. Can it would just fall down? I mean, maybe. Okay, this is the future, science fiction. Maybe they've got like super ultra mega hold hairspray, so it will never come down. Maybe they've implemented it, in, uh, implanted like nano wire filaments into the hair, so that you can just like it's like a pipe cleaner. You can just shape it anywhere you want, and it'll stay that way. Uh, so let's go ahead and do some custom work over here. So I want to start with the hair. Because to a certain extent, I think the hair informs a lot of the rest of the personality a lot. So what do we have? So zero. Okay. One is this one. Two is that over there. Three. I mean, I do like this. If I were playing a different game, that's an excellent... I love that hairstyle. It's got just amount of sort of unevenness and chunkiness going on and a little bit of hair physics. That's five. Oh, yeah, that one there. That is very cool. This is just... See, this part, that would drive me crazy. I'd be, like, perpetually trying to brush my hair out of my eyes. What do we have here? Okay, we have a, a high ponytail. Everything ordered, organized. I like that. Also, this is, like, a, a proper sort of elastic or... Not a scrunchie. I don't know what that... I mean, maybe. But something to hold the hair up. It seems very practical to me. I approve of this. Some of the most important things that I care about. Uh, are you... I mean, unless you don't care about peripheral vision, then no. Come on, we've got to fight some some bad guys of some description here. That, again, very practical. That was, what, nine? Okay. Oh, you know what? I really like this one. Now, the one thing I will say with these short hairstyles, it is really difficult to actually get all your hair back in a ponytail. But to me, this might be, like, the best balance between I want to be practical as much as possible, but I do want some hair for my downtime. I like that. I think 10 might be the one for me. And then, yeah, super practical. So, like, didn't, didn't, didn't Jack have hair like that in, uh, when did she show up? Was it ME2? I think so. You want dark hair? I think so, although, you know, you should take a look at, whoa! Now that is different. Do you have any, is there any really crazy hair colors? Oh, yes, there is. Oops, I screwed up the... Oh, I see what was going on with the mouse wheel there. Wow! It's fluorescent. How... What would you have to do for that? I mean, obviously, you'd have to start by bleaching the hell out of the hair. And then you'd put the color back in, but it, it, it seems to glow almost. So it's like the dye would have a kind of a natural phosphorescence, maybe? Hmm... I kind of like just the dark. Maybe not the black option, but dark, dark brown like this. I, I like that. And actually, I didn't realize that you can actually get a little bit of hair color deviation here. There's darker spots, lighter spots. I like it. Okay. I, I very much like this. Okay. So if we go back to the face, how, how much can we mess around with the face? So skin tone. I don't I don't know. I have to say, with the, uh, the dark skin tone, the purple, I would probably use a different blush shape. But the purple actually looks really nice. And not the lipstick. God, no. But the blush. I think we're going to go... 
somewhere around here. Seems to fit, I don't know, something with the, the eye shape and the hair. Seems to work. We, okay, I gotta get rid of this makeup. Hold on. We're gonna reset the makeup, and then um, we are gonna go back here. So lipstick style, I'm just gonna turn it off for now. And blush style, I will also just turn it off for now. Okay. Faces. Um, so brow. It's one of those where, like, I mean, you can make things look really, really odd. I it's, almost, it's concave. We have a concave forehead at this point. So actually, it doesn't. It's not bad. The funny thing is, like, both both extremes of the brow depth look perfectly fine, which is surprising because usually when you get to the extremes, especially those, you end up with a weird-looking person. Now, brow height all the way down just looks like someone who's perpetually angry and has way too much forehead. It's like a five head. And I'm just surprised all the time. So no, I think I think relatively low because it gives that hint of intensity. This person means business, you know, but but she doesn't look cross, which I think is important. Okay, cheeks. So if we went to the extreme, I, uh, ooh, that's a little too droopy, isn't it? I like, I mean, And again, sort of leads to just looking sort of not, I don't know about sad, but like checked out over here, disinterested, just worn out completely. Bring it up a little bit and it's back to sort of, yeah, a more sort of intense, I'm kind of going to break you. I like that. Cheekbone width. I'm not sure. I think somewhere a little lower and then the cheek width i mean i don't think i want okay i don't want that i don't think i want the completely pulled in face i think we want it fleshed out just a bit something kind of like that we're generating a very oval shaped face but that's fine nothing wrong with that chin okay chin height boom 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 i i don't know i think, that's, I, think I want it on the longer side but not crazy and then for the chin depth, especially with such a, a, a long chin, it's going to be interesting. Hmm. I think something more like this. I like that. Maybe because as someone who has a natural underbite like me, you know, I want... <laughs> I want the chin a little bit more pulled in instead. And we've got chin width. I think I'm pretty happy with that. Mm, yeah, no. No. I'm, I'm very happy, I think, in the midpoint for the chin width. And then jaw width. Oh! Oh! Yeah, so I end up with quite a bit more of a squarer face. Not, you know, not a chubby face, just square. The jaw really coming out. And, you know, too pointy. I think I want, a, like, somewhere around a 12. Yeah. Does make her face a little wider but in sort of an assertive, strong way. All right, big fan of that. Eye height. This is the one area where you can make your person really derpy. I mean, you do that and then like, nee. or the other way around. Oops, I didn't mean to drag you. Let me put you back here. One second. Vroop. Yeah, you can make your person look horrible. Horrible. So I think you really, if you were looking for someone who's, you know, looks like a person, you really want to, avoid deviating from the middle by more than say three or something in any direction for some reason i'm feeling the 12 now depth that's not really going to make a big difference from the front other than maybe some shadowing but if we look at her from the side a little bit um i think i kind of liked it around here deeper set eyes the width i think i really do want to keep it a 10 it starts to be kind of an uncanny valley thing I think when you go beyond those bounds. Mouth. Lip thickness. Wow, even at a one, those are pretty full lips. Let's not let's not kid around. Those are pretty full lips here. Oh, it, um Am I okay with like the curvature? That's probably gonna be uh, I see, I see. I'll put it at a two. I don't know if I want to move the height too much. I think I'm gonna leave it at a ten. But I think the depth I do wanna change. I don't want to have her, like, pouting too much. Although, it actually seems reasonable. That's a little too pulled in. Mostly, right now, I'm looking at, like, the cheek thing here and just the angle over there and 
to find what I'm happy with. I don't know. And you know what? They all, they all work. They all work. I think, I think I actually wanted something like an eight. She looks like just like a perfectly normal, reasonable person. And I like that. All right. Mouse, mouth width, width. No. This, this doesn't look, this looks like she's like pursing her lips. Like she's tight and tense over here. And I think, I think we'll air a little bit narrower like that. Okay, nose. Nose height, this is probably another way to generate some funny people. Actually, neither one, neither one of them are unreasonable. Um, with this, you probably want to change the, the curvature. I gotta be honest, I'm kind of liking the really long nose. I mean, this ends up looking a little too nostrally from the front. Although you could, again, tune a few other things. I think I like the long nose. Let's work with that and then see what else we can do. Now, the depth, we're not really going to be able to tell the difference from the front, so let's tweak it from the side. I don't I don't think I want, like, a giant schnoz. And that was entering schnoz level. So, like, long but flat nose? Maybe. Now, there's nose width and then nose size. Okay, so it's, like, nostril width. Do we want, like... I don't think we want very wide. I'm thinking narrower. More that might make her look like her nostrils are too tight, though. The problem is breathing in. Okay, let's try an eight, and then size. Okay, scales everything up. I don't want that. That's pinching her whole face. I like a strong nose. I'm, I'm kind of... I think the nose actually has to be a little wider back to there. I kind of like this. Again, she feels like a real person. I like it. All right, what else we got? Uh, we've done the hair, so we're good there. Okay, makeup. Uh, no, so eye color. Um, I kind of, what, what would you call this? It's like a very, very light brown, like almost, almost gray brown. And it's nice. Now, I don't know. Interesting. Oh, the purple is very cool. Again, it's the future. There's all sorts of reasons you could have that. I feel like the more realistic color choice here would be green. Again, we might go with a relatively desaturated green, something like that. Seems relatively realistic. And then we will we'll switch to green for the outer color as well, which really amplifies it. But go darker like that. Maybe... There we go. Damn, those are good eyes. Okay. All right, now the makeup question. So, you know, again, you know, sort of a military kind of person. What's the makeup situation? I'm going to go with the assumption that these things can be applied in, like, a semi-permanent way with, like, weird nanotechnological um, something. You know, they're, like, basically it's like um, liquid crystals or something like that. It can be rearranged. Hope, I wonder if you can change your, your look at any point during the game. So, certainly I want dark eyeliner. And what style are we going to go for? I mean, I'm not going to go for any of these, I think. I guess we could crank up the opacity just to make it a little easier to see. I don't think so. I think it's going to be just a little bit of an outline. So that's not bad. So that's a 5. I think the five's the way to go. And then I'm going to bring down the opacity make it a little bit less severe so just a just the light outlining of the eye to emphasize it a bit more and i think the eye shadow is going to be much more significant i'm gonna i'm gonna get this to set to a black again and crank up the opacity okay now that that's super cool that is super turbo cool a little unfortunate that goes into the eyebrow that is super cool Ooh, ooh. Yeah, uh-huh. Whoa, 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 whoa. Like, if we're doing, like, a biotic or something like that, you're like, look into my eyes. Look into my third eye. Ah, no. Okay, so this is, like, yeah, right over here. Whoa, that's cool. Okay, this seems like normalish eyeshadow. 
This is really cool, though. Oh, that's interesting. I think with this, I would definitely want color. Like, imagine... See, this, I think, would look quite nice with, like... Yeah, somewhere, like, around there. I don't know. It, I think it's because it kind of reminds me of watercolors. So, I'm thinking, like, soft, lilac-y kind of things. Actually, I, I, I really like that. But if this is going to be my character, and again, I've played the first few minutes, but I might actually use this new character instead. I think if that's going to happen, that's very minimal. I am just going to go for this kind of look over here. So off, on, I like that. Just a little bit of shadow that's in there. It's very nice. Um, the lipstick color, I think I'm going to go for something that doesn't really look like she's wearing lipstick as much as just, you know, her lips have a uh, bit more color to them. I mean, again, it might be something that's been added. That's kind of interesting that it's just in the middle. Um, let me change to, well, just for the sake of argument, something that's super red. Oops, it's a little more orangey. We don't want that. Okay, like that. I like in the middle, and then you've got a gloss option. Ooh, shiny. Hmm. Yeah, I think I might like something that just makes it look like, oh, it's got tons of patterns. Oh my god, that's cool. What? Okay, that's actually super cool. I don't, I'm not, again, I'm not going to go there because that's not what I'm looking for. Um, was it like the... So, it looks like four, five, and perhaps six. Let's go with four um, and change this to... like that maybe it's a little too pink there we go I like that relatively low opacity I mean not off not maxed somewhere around here a little bit of gloss to it I, I, mm. hmm totally matte not quite matte maybe bring down I'm trying to decide. I think I might need to change the color again. Um, a little more orange, maybe? It doesn't actually quite line up with my lips. You know what? I'm kind of digging just the dark. I actually like that a lot. And I think with this this lipstick here, I think it's a little darker on the outside and sort of fades in. And a little shine. I'm. You know what? Done. This is the one. If I'm going to do that, I'm actually thinking I might increase the eyeshadow opacity some more, just to make it a little bit more intense. And the eyeliner as well. I think just balances it out better. All right, blush. So this is blushless. And it's got the purple color. And again, cool patterns. Let me bring up the opacity so we can see. So three variants. This is um, I'm a Wi-Fi hotspot. That's that, that, that one there. Okay, so that's real blush, like sort of placement. Um, but I'm not sure what we would choose for a color here. Oh, oh, oh. I think right around there. Just... I th and I think we'd bring down the, uh, the opacity. Just a hint. Just a hint. Almost to look like it's just a natural sort of flush going on. Okay, I like it. Now, I don't think... Oh, man. My, my original... Um, character, the one I was running for a little while, actually had this really brutal scar on her face. And to me, I imagined that it was something that happened um, on a, some previous mission, and she was away from, you know, the main ship. She had to use some sort of just generic kind of dermal regenerator to, like, just stop things, and it's sort of... It's one of those things where this will stop all the wound and bleeding right away, but basically make this like the new natural thing. Like there's no more, cause you're, you're, you're healing and everything. When you get hurt, your body tries to mostly like rebuild itself to a certain, I don't know, shape and foundation, right? Um, and in my head, in this version of like the battlefield medicine, it's like, okay, this will stop the wound right away um, and make everything, you know, work again. But basically this is gonna be, this is the new normal for your face. Um, whereas if we brought you back to the base first, then we could heal using different ways and you know most of the scarring would go away and so that's the way i imagine and i just i don't know 
You know, we were put through all this work to make them look, you know, kind of like a normal person, a real person, quite pretty. And then just this happens and it's just, oh, that's brutal. That is just brutal. But I think, I think I want something. I mean, we could go sort of mid-range here. And that's not bad. But I also kind of like the idea of committing completely. But maybe I'll go mid-range. And again, to me, this was that abrasion pattern. I said it looks like this is you were in a crash or something like that. Your face scraped against the floor while also you're sort of spinning a little bit because there's scratches in all kinds of different directions here. But that that's sort of it. You know, maybe even got you got knocked out and so you're you're against the floor and there was multiple bumps and the the the, the shuttle sort of rocking and rolling in every direction. So you just keep sort of scraping across there. Really, really, really brutal. You know, just sort of scraped off half your face almost. So a bad, bad, bad injury, which is why it's still so heavily scarred now. I think, I think I like her. I think I like her. So if we confirm and go back here, then yeah, you get to choose the training. I, I don't know if, you know if you guys have seen the skill trees yet, but man, oh man, are they awesome. Um, and I'm not sure if how much this training has for like a hardcore lock-in. It looks to me that you can pretty much decide to go as, you, as your level. It's pretty much everywhere. It feels very open and very flexible, which I like. Um, in uh, my my canon run of the original Mass Effect trilogy was mostly as like a straight up soldier because to me that that seemed like Shepard. Even though I tend to often go with you know more magic -y kind of users and things like that, to me Shepard seemed like a soldier. But this time um, I'm looking to probably go through as a biotic. Um, we could customize our twin. Oh, that's true. I could have done that. Um, can you do a full customization? Yeah, we'll just use the default appearance for him. That's going to be okay. Customize your history. So uh, my uh, female, Commander Shepard is female in my history. You don't have a lot of interaction with um, with that because you leave, your, your ship in Andromeda left the main galaxy, I think before Mass Effect 2 is the official thing. So you, you sort of know about maybe Reapers, but not really, I think is, is about it. Um, oh yeah, then you get to change your name. Tau. She looks like like Tao to me, kind of a awesome, awesome badass. So I might go ahead and play through the intro one more time with her, but this is going to be it for the video. Thank you very much for watching, folks, and I'll see you guys next time.